Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube Test. Exer, the sub brand of Magine, which focusing on bicycle components, has always been inspired by the idea of bringing better riding experience. So, after two years of research, design, and production, the Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube has come into existence. However, still many riders will question TPU Inner Tube's performance. Now, we will conduct several tests to assess the heat resistance, braking heat resistance, and air tightness of the Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube. Part 1 High Temperature Resistance Test First, we will conduct the high temperature resistance test. We will place the inner tube inside a high temperature chamber set at 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit to test the reliability of the inner tube in a high temperature environment. Now fit the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube and the rubber inner tube separately onto the wheel set and inflate them to the maximum recommended inflation pressure of the outer tire, which is 100 PSI. Then place them inside the high temperature test chamber and set the temperature to 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit. They will be kept in the chamber for two hours. Here we have prepared a laboratory thermometer and place the temperature probe inside the high temperature chamber to observe the temperature in real time. Measured temperatures are subject to an error about 1 degree Celsius. Due to the principle of thermal expansion and contraction, high temperature can increase air pressure and reduce the strength of materials, leading to a risk of tube bursting. Generally, when the ground temperature exceeds 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, it is no longer suitable for cycling activities. The applying of a standard of 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit, is intended to simulate certain extreme storage conditions, such as being inside a car exposed to direct sunlight. After the two hour duration, let the wheel set to return to room temperature. Take out the wheel set, then test the air pressure of the inner tubes. Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube is 89 PSI. And the rubber inner tube is also 89 PSI. The time now is July 17th at 14 o'clock. Let it sit for 24 hours to give the inner tube time to leak. 24 hours have passed and the time is now July 18th at 14.03. Remeasure the air pressure. We can see that it has dropped from the initial 100 PSI to 84 PSI. And the rubber inner tube has dropped from the initial 100 PSI to 86 PSI. Check the appearance of the TPU inner tube. There is no sign of breakage, softening, or bonding. Both are comparable enough for normal riding without reinflating. Exer Ultralight TPU inner tube has passed the high temperature resistance test. Part 2 
Braking Heat Resistance Test In a real riding environment, braking at high speeds can sometimes cause the temperature to rise sharply, thus leading to the sudden expansion of gas and a tube blowout. At the same time, the brake edge heats up when braking, which may cause the inner tube body to heat up and melt, then further cause a blowout. We will now use this wheel set test rig to verify the reliability of the inner tube under high brake temperatures. Fit the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube onto the wheel set and inflate it to 100 psi. Put the wheel set on the rig. We will use three cameras to record this test. One to observe the running of the rig. One to observe the braking point, which is equipped with a temperature measurement system that displays the temperature of the brake point in real time on the screen. And one camera to record the speed and real time temperature data. Drive the wheels at the speed around 25 kilometers per hour and maintain for a while. Gradually apply braking force to slow down. Monitor the temperature at the braking point on the rim. Hold at extreme braking for 15 seconds. Now it has reached up to 281.9 degrees Celsius, 539.42 degrees Fahrenheit. In general, the maximum temperature at the braking point will not exceed 220 degrees Celsius. 428 degrees Fahrenheit. 220 degrees Celsius is also the maximum braking temperature for carbon fiber wheel sets. But due to the current high room temperature in summer, the braking temperature of the test has reached about 300 degrees Celsius, 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Release the brakes and wait for the rim to cool down. Repeat the test, brake for 15 seconds, and the maximum temperature has come to 301 degrees Celsius, 573.8 degrees Fahrenheit. When the position cools down, run the final test. Brake for 15 seconds and reach a maximum temperature of 304.4 degrees Celsius, 579.92 degrees Fahrenheit. Then wait for it to drop to room temperature. Three rounds of tests have been completed and no blowouts occurred. Now remove the wheel set and place it on the test table. Let's measure the air pressure. The current time is July 18th at 1506. The initial air pressure was 100 psi. and the current air pressure is 93 psi. We will now let the inner tube sit for 24 hours to observe if there is any air leakage during this time. 24 hours have passed. It is now July 19th at 1502. Let's measure the air pressure again. The current air pressure is 88 psi. Now let's remove the inner tube from the wheel set and visually inspect its appearance.
we can observe that there are no signs of damage, softening, or adhesion. The complete test has concluded. In the maximum 304 degrees Celsius, 579 degrees Fahrenheit braking environment, Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube did not experience any visible damage or blowout. After 24 hours, the air pressure decreased from 100 psi to 88 psi, but still remains within the acceptable range for riding conditions. The XR TPU Ultralight Inner Tube has passed the braking heat resistance test. Part 3 Air Tightness Test Without considering external factors, common causes of air leakage in TPU inner tubes include poor quality valve cores, issues with the valve stem connection, uneven material thickness, and uneven welding at the tube body. However, in the design process of the XR TPU Ultralight inner tube, we have employed high standards in the selection of materials and quality inspection processes to minimize these issues to the greatest extent possible. This test consists of two parts. The first part assesses the initial air tightness of the inner tube, while the second part examines its air tightness after a five-day period of static rest. Inflate Exer TPU inner tube to 8 psi initially. Then immerse the valve valve stem connection area, and tube body welds in water. We can observe that no bubbles are emerging in the water, indicating that the initial air tightness of the inner tube is satisfactory. Next, we will proceed with the long-term air tightness test. The current time is 1420 on July 11th. Following the standard inner tube installation procedure, Fit the XR TPU Ultralight inner tube onto the wheel set and inflate it to the maximum recommended air pressure specified by the outer tire, which is 100 psi. Our test environment is in an air-conditioned office with temperatures of 24 to 27 degrees Celsius, 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and relative humidity of 55 to 60 percent. We will let the wheel set stand still for 24 hours. One day has passed, and the current time is July 12, 1429. Let's measure the current air pressure of the TPU Ultralight inner tube. It is showing a pressure of 93 psi, which has decreased by 7 psi compared to the initial pressure. About 48 hours have passed. The current time is July 13, 1428. The pressure of the XR TPU Ultralight inner tube has dropped to 88 psi, which is a decrease of 12 psi compared to the initial pressure. About 72 hours have passed. The current time is July 14, 1429. After measurement, the pressure of the XR TPU Ultralight inner tube has dropped to 83 psi which is a decrease of 17 psi compared to the initial pressure. About 96 hours have passed. The current time is July 15, 1428. After measurement, the pressure of the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube has dropped to 78 psi, which is a decrease of 22 psi compared to the initial pressure. About 120 hours have passed. The current time is July 16, 1431. The pressure of the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube has dropped to 72 psi, which is a decrease of 28 psi compared to the initial pressure. Based on the experimental results, the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube experiences a pressure drop of 28 psi after 5 days, which still falls within the range suitable for riding. It can effectively maintain the required pressure for 5 days of regular cycling without the need for reinflation. From high temperature resistance to braking heat resistance and air tightness tests, each test shows that the Exer TPU Ultralight inner tube can handle the extreme conditions that might encounter. 
Riding with Exer TPU Ultralight Inner Tube, you can confidently enjoy its features of lightweight, low rolling resistance, portability, and so on, while trusting its air tightness performance and reliability under extreme high temperatures or braking situations.